with the motion to dismiss charges against former officer Thomas Lane, we've now got our hands on new documents filed by attorney Earl Gray. They include transcripts of body camera video, an interview done with Thomas Lane by investigators, and training procedures from the Minneapolis Police Department. It all gives new insight into what a trial might look like next year. Thomas Lane's attorney, Earl Gray, filed more than 100 pages of documents trying to clear his client's name. Was there anything that stuck out to you as being potentially significant at trial? I think that there are a lot of facts that perhaps weren't well known. Former Ramsey County attorney Susan Gertner read the documents with us. In J. Alexander King's body camera transcript, we learned George Floyd told officers, quote, I'm claustrophobic. I'm going to die in here. I just had COVID. I can't breathe, as they tried to put him in a squad car. Once on the ground, Lane asked twice, quote, here, should we get his legs up and you want him on his side? Derek Chauvin responded, quote, no, leave him, staying put where we got him. They waited for an ambulance where Lane did CPR, according to records. How do you think the attorney general will handle those claims that he was simply acting under a superior? The prosecutor needs to focus on what's that person's responsibility? What did that person do that helped the main perpetrator commit the crime. Lane's attorney also submitted MPD documents showing how officers are trained in neck restraints, even though Chief Arredondo has called Chauvin's move a murder. But the motion to dismiss charges against Lane might be a long shot. What judges generally do, in my experience, is give it to the jury. Attorney General Keith Ellison says he'll oppose the motion to dismiss charges against Lane, and he has until August 10th to make a response. Danny Spiewak, CARE 11 News. We have reached out to MPD for a response to today's developments, but the department says they can't comment on court cases.